Hi, welcome to this askbj.net video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a subdomain uh, and then install Google Apps to that subdomain. First, let's open up. You want to go to your hosting provider or register. Uh, in my case, I use SiteGround. I have logged in. What I want to do is first set up a subdomain. So I'm going to go to my cPanel. Okay, I am now in my cPanel. And I want to scroll down until I see subdomains. Uh, cPanel is very common and with most host providers. Here's subdomains. I'm just going to click subdomains. I want to add a subdomain. I'm going to call it test create test.askbj.net has been created I am going to go back to the home I am now going to do a search for Google Apps for domains I want to not try to begin the free trial one I actually want to find the standard edition which is the free edition click get started I'm going to enter my domain name if you want to buy a domain name, you can. Uh, this cost at this time, I believe, or $10 a year. I'm going to go back to my existing domain, click Get Started, enter in my information. I am now done with my form, and I'm going to click Continue. It's asking me for a username. Okay, I have filled out the form and now I'm going to click accept because I'm already logged in it's asking me to switch accounts now I am in my Google Apps dashboard so I, and the first thing it wants me to do is fill out this form and verify the that I do in fact own this domain so I'm going to click keep clicking next Add a DNS record, link to your Google Analytics account, upload an HTML file, and a meta tag. I have a tendency to find that the uploading the HTML file is the easiest. Uh, what it wants me to do is take this verification file, which I'm going to click on, I'm going to save it to my computer. I can either connect via an FTP program or if your or a lot of the sites allow for web account web access of this uh, so I'm back to my website's cPanel and I'm gonna scroll down to file manager click on file manager and I'm gonna choose my test go I am now here I'm going to upload a file I'm going to go to my downloads and choose the folder right here, open. Now that it is uploaded, I'm now going to go back to my ownership and I'm going to say verify. Okay. I am now verified. Activating the email. Goes down through and it tells you that you need to add these records to your domain host. Again, I'm going to go back to my cPanel. So you want to go to some place that lists the MX records, which are listed right here. Click MX. Choose the domain that you'd like to use this from. And what you want to do is add each one of those in. So for example, the first one is a priority of 10, and it goes to this website. Control C for copy, Control V for paste. Uh, my website does not like the trailing dot, and I'm going to enter in 10. Add new record. And you, we just basically go through for all of these entries. Okay, I have now entered in all the MX records uh, listed in my Google Apps. In my Google Apps, I'm going to click I have completed these steps 
and it will take up to 48 hours for them to verify that it has been done. Uh, at this point now you can go in and create different users. It now wants me to verify my identity. Uh, this is a two-step process of Google. So it verified I owned my domain. Now it wants to verify that this is and truly me. In this case I'm going to have it do a text message to me. I'm going to have it send the verification to my phone. I've now gotten a text message on my phone and the verification number is I'll click verify. I am now verified. I can add users or I can add more services. Thank you very much. You have now successfully created a subdomain and installed Google Apps Standard Edition to that domain. Please go to askbj.net for more online professional development. Thank you very much.